What's up guys, my name is Ace, and in today's Apex Legends video, we're going to be going over my favorite landing strategies to maximize success throughout a game. I'm going to be going over the different loot tiers for the locations, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen by now. And then I'm also going to be discussing my favorite places to land in order to not only maximize my kills, but also maximize the odds of me and my team making it throughout the entire game. Now the first thing that's very important, if you guys don't already know the best dropping technique to make sure you can travel the furthest distance possible and also be sure that you are the first team on the ground in that location, I will leave a link to the video where I covered that. This video today is more so about where to land rather than how to land. So the first thing I want to go over in today's video are the different loot tiers for each location on the map. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen similar maps like this, they've been floating around the community basically since the first week of launch. But just in case you haven't, here they are, and just be aware, this is more so just telling you the quality of loot, so the likelihood that you're going to be finding like purple items, for instance, rather than the quantity of loot. So some of these loot locations, they may have really good loot, but not very much of it. Thunderdome is a great example of this. This is considered to be a high tier loot location, and there often is like a purple body armor here, but at the same time, oftentimes when you land at Thunderdome, there isn't really enough loot for everybody on the team to be sharing, so everybody gets an armor and a decent gun and everything to get you in your fight. So I feel like some people put a little too much weight on the actual tier of the landing area, rather than the quantity of items that you also can expect to find. So it is really nice to know these maps and know where the higher tier loot tends to be, but at the same time, don't worry too much about always landing in like a high tier loot location. This brings us to the next most important thing to cover in this video, and this is the hotspots that players tend to land at every single game. This is based on my experience, but it's also pretty well known within the community for at least some of these. The most common landing locations are going to be Skulltown, Bunker, Artillery, as well as Airbase. Now that's not to say that you aren't going to potentially find a really hot zone other places like Hydro Dam or Swamps for instance, every now and then you do get some pretty hot landing areas there. But just in general, if you land at one of these four locations that I have marked, you are practically guaranteed to be landing with at least one other team and oftentimes two or more other teams. I should also point out another really hot drop is going to be on the loot ship, but that always spawns in a randomized location, so you just have to be aware of that anytime you see the loot ship and where it's going to be flying as you're getting ready to drop in, that will also be a hot zone. So now that we know this, what is the best strategy for finding a place to land at the beginning of the game? Should you be landing at one of these hot spots, or should you be trying to land as far away from them as possible? Now this is definitely going to depend on your goal as you go into the game. If your goal is to absolutely maximize the number of kills possible, as well as just practice your gunfighting skills, you want to be landing in a hot zone every single time. The reason for this is you're going to get your fights immediately, and also they tend to be really high risk, high reward. So if you end up killing all of the teams in the hot drop zones, you're typically left with a lot of really good high quality loot. Having said that, it's extremely risky to be landing in these hot zones, and unless you're an absolute pro at this game, more often than not, you'll find yourself back in the lobby shortly after landing, because there's just so much competition, so many teams there, even if you happen to get a kill or two, you've got a couple other guys that are attacking you shortly after. And therefore, if your strategy is to win the game, you probably don't want to be landing in these hot zones. On the other extreme, should you be landing really far away from these hot zones, as far away as possible from where you expect people to land? Well, the upside to this is you'll often survive that initial part of the game, no problem, and you can also usually take your time to get some really decent loot built up. So you can get yourself a decent armor and gun with attachments. You can do all of this stuff without ever encountering an enemy. The problem with this strategy though is as you get into the later game situations, you're going to be going into gunfights really cold. You're not going to be as prepared for a gunfight as the enemy teams that have just been steamrolling through enemies and really practicing their gunfights throughout the game, as well as building up their loot because as you kill more players, you get your choice of loot. You get exactly what you want. So if you land in a really cold area, by the time you get yourself into the first engagement, there's a good chance the enemy team is going to be better prepared for that fight than you are. In addition to this, if you're somebody that's always landing really cold and really far away from the enemies, you will be limiting your improvement in the game. The best way to improve your skills and win more gunfights is to get yourself in more gunfights, and if you're constantly just trying to avoid gunfights at all costs, you're just going to be holding yourself back as a player, so I wouldn't recommend using this strategy too often. So as a result, in my opinion, the best strategy to land if you're looking for consistent success throughout a game where you get a decent number of kills, but you're also finding yourself in those endgame situations, 
is to land just outside of a hot zone in an area that will give you decent loot and then immediately push towards that hot zone after getting yourself looted up. Now the benefits of this is you typically have enough time to get at least half decent loot, you get yourself an armor, you get yourself a half decent gun, but also you have the added benefit of staying warm because as soon as you get that loot, you want to be pushing in towards the hot zone and getting yourself in the fight. Oftentimes what you'll find is the people that are in the hot zone by the time you get there, they're going to be hurt, they're going to be distracted in other gunfights with other people that are in the hot zone, and typically at this point they're still scrambling and they haven't had enough time to build themselves up with decent gun and decent armor and get themselves prepared for another fight. As a result, with this strategy, I find that you can typically sweep through that hot zone, clean up any of the guys that are left over there, really easily for that matter, and now you control all of that loot in that hot zone, and this usually lets you take your pick of exactly which gun and attachment and armor that you want. Now the key with this though is making sure you get your loot quickly and get into that fight as soon as possible. If you wait for too long, if you spend too much time looting outside of that hot zone, it will allow a team to come out on top in that hot zone, and now they're going to be much more powerful than you are as you push in. So you want to make sure you get there before the fight is over within that hot zone. So let's walk you through a few of my favorite landing spots and routes that I take at the beginning of the game. My personal favorite is landing outside of Skulltown somewhere, so whether that be in Thunderdome, Water Treatment, or that little area in between those two, these places tend to give you good enough loot to at least get yourself within that fight into Skulltown. And then once you take Skulltown over, you typically have a few kills on the board and you've got yourself set up with some excellent loot, which puts you in a great position for the remainder of that game. Another great route that I like to take every now and then, admittedly I don't use this one quite as often, but this one is landing at runoff, and then from there this actually gives you a couple options. You can either go to the bunker or you can go to airbase. Personally, I normally will go towards airbase after landing in runoff, but every now and then I'll make my way over towards the bunker and clean up anybody that may be coming out of there. This leaves us with the last one that I wanted to share with you guys at least, keeping in mind there are some other great spots that you can land, but I do want to keep a few up my sleeve. This is landing outside of the bunker that goes up to artillery. So this area is still considered to be a high tier loot area, and there's typically enough loot for the entire team to share. So when you land here, you can get yourself looted up, and then you push upwards towards artillery, and you can clean up anybody that's left in artillery. Now I also like landing directly in the main part of artillery from time to time, but it is one of those hot spots, and therefore it is quite risky. Oftentimes you'll land and not get yourself a decent enough gun. You might just get yourself a Mozambique or something and then get picked off. Whereas if you land down low outside of that bunker, it usually allows you to get at least a good enough gun and a good enough setup so that you're far more comfortable as you push up to the main artillery area. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video on my favorite landing strategies in Apex Legends. I'd like to know in the comment section below, where is your favorite place to land to maximize your success throughout a game? Do you typically land directly in those hotspots? Do you like to land cold and then work your way through the map with good loot? Or do you tend to use the same strategy I like to use where you land just outside of a hot zone and then attack it shortly after? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.